Look at this woman trapped upside down between two windows. You're probably wondering how she got there. Well, I'll have you know that this happened over the course of a Tinder date. And she's not alone in there. She's trapped with a massive turd of her own creation. How'd she get there? Why is there poop? I'll explain in this episode of Tales from the Internet. This video was sponsored by Darkfire Heroes. Darkfire Heroes is a free-to-play real-time action RPG set in a fantasy world in peril. Collect unique heroes, set up your party, and send them out into one of the uniquely designed and balanced campaign stages. A world that's continually expanding through regular updates with new events and new areas. Select five heroes and five spells. Each hero plays differently, with their own unique attacks and skills, with area damage, single targets, healing, or combinations of each. Your whole strategy is based on which heroes and spells you pick, and you have to pick the right setup depending on the challenge you're facing. If your strategies are falling flat, try something else. There's over 50 different heroes, each best suited to different campaign levels and boss battles. Or, you know, maybe your timing or your aim sucks and you just gotta get good. You can also play against other players, joining a guild and participating in tournaments. Click the link below and download Darkfire Heroes today. Support my channel by joining my clan and together we can smash our enemies. Just click the link to get started. Early on in my channel, I had a video where I was talking about one of the weirdest Tinder dates I had ever been on. You know, the one where a girl is having a whole ass conversation with me over the sound of her own piss. But really, in general, my Tinder experiences aren't as bad as a lot of the nightmare stories that I've heard from that app. But this one right here might take the cake. Not because that anything that happened was especially terrible or bad, but because this whole situation just plays out like one strange episode of Seinfeld. And you got a Lady George Costanza. Story begins when a student of Bristol University named Liam Smith matches with a girl on Tinder. They talk for a bit and it's going well so they decide they're gonna meet up and get some dinner at Nando's. I'd never heard of Nando's before, so I looked it up, and apparently it's a chain that serves Portuguese African-style chicken, originating in South Africa and now with locations all around the world. That chicken looks mad good, although honestly it seems like it might be a bit too heavy for a first date meal. You know, in my opinion, you're gonna want to keep it light. You know, one thing leads to another, you don't want to be getting chicken sweats when you're boning. But these two threw caution to the wind and ate all the chicken. And the date's going pretty good, so they decide they're gonna go back to his place. What more can you ask for, right? You have a first Tinder date, it's going well, you have a nice meal, now you're going to take her back home. Whoa, whoa, He cracks open a bottle of wine and puts on the documentary My Scientology Movie. They're about an hour deep into Louis Thoreau doing battle with Thetans when all of a sudden, the chicken beckons. Liam's date excuses herself into the bathroom. And here's where it goes down. You've probably noticed that I've not referred to Liam's date by her name. She chose to remain anonymous in any coverage of the story. And what comes next is why she wanted to remain anonymous. She pinches off a big fat loaf of Nando's chicken shit. And it won't flush. Unfortunately, she did not have her poop scissors with her, so she had to figure something out. It's the first date, you want to make a good impression, you can't just tell your date, oh, I took a shit that's a little too big, and now it won't go down. You don't even want your date to conceptualize you as the type of person who takes shits, let alone has struggles with them. That's at least several dates in, if ever. And really, this is a tale as old as time. In fact, I came across this particular story when I was trying to find one that I had remembered from Bodybuilding.com. People seem to strangely often find themselves in a predicament where they're on a first date and have some kind of shit problem in the bathroom, often leading to some kind of cockamamie, I love Lucy-esque scheme to dispose of the evidence. So here's what she does. She notices there's a window in his bathroom, so she grabs some tissues, reaches into the toilet like James Sunderland searching for a wallet, and retrieves the poo. And a side note, while trying to remember what exactly it was that James got from that toilet, I discovered that for some reason, the Silent Hill wiki has an entire article dedicated just to toilets. But that's a story for another day. So anyway, the Tinder date, massive turd in hand, Sets up her aim and launches it out the window. Out of sight, out of mind, right? Or was it? She washes up and leaves the bathroom. Congrats, you got away with it. 
But then, for whatever reason, perhaps guilt, perhaps realizing that maybe he would eventually figure out what had happened, she decides that she couldn't just let it sit there in his garden. She had to come clean. Liam recounts the conversation. I went for a poo in your toilet, she told me, and it would not flush. I don't know why I did this, but I panicked, she continued. I reached into the toilet bowl, wrapped it in tissue paper, and threw it out the window. I was understandably concerned and told her we would go outside, bag up the offending poo in the garden, bin it, and pretend the whole sorry affair had never happened. So they went to the garden, bagged up the poo, threw it away, acted like it never happened, and they proceeded to have a lovely night. Oh, what's that? They did not have a lovely night? Come on, this would not be a video if it was that simple. You see, that turd never made it to the garden. Liam's window is not an ordinary window. For some reason, his window is two-ply. You see, he has a window in the bathroom that opens up at the top, but behind it, you have a one-foot gap, and behind the gap, you have another window that, for whatever reason, does not open. So what this means is, after she threw the turd over the top of the first window, it winds up slamming into the second window, rolling down, and getting stuck in the gap between both of the windows. Realizing what had happened, Liam could only conceive of one possible way to free the shit from its prison. Get a hammer and smash that fucking window. So he's getting all set to acquire his tools when his date has another idea. You see, she is an amateur gymnast. She was absolutely certain that she could simply work her way through the window, reach down, grab it like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible, float back up out of the window, thereby saving him of the trouble and expense of smashing his window. Unlike the movie though, this mission actually was impossible. But she managed to convince him it was doable and so he let her try. She works her way up over the top, but she can't quite reach it. So he gives her a little boost so she can get in further. It was exactly what she needed. She's able to reach all the way down, bag the turd, pass it up over the top to him, where he proceeds to drop it back down into the toilet where this whole problem began. And then he goes back to the window to get her out, but wait, there's a problem. She can't get out. He grabs her by the waist and pulls and pulls and pulls, but she's just stuck upside down between two windows. After trying to figure out what to do for 15 minutes, he realizes there's only one thing he can do. He calls the fire department. They show up pretty quickly, smash her out of the window as only firemen can with their special tools, and she finally once again tastes freedom away from the oppressive fecal air. But the cost of replacing a window is a lot of money for a struggling college student. So he sets up a GoFundMe to cover the 200 pound costs. And at this point is where this goes from being just, you know, a cookie night between two people on Tinder and becoming a happening now that's spreading all over the internet. A bunch of news outlets cover it, and the GoFundMe gets enough people to contribute to it that it winds up raising £2,835 in total. And a lot of people were thrilled to be a part of this historic moment. Dope. Cool. Legend. Poo. This donation is a gift for my sisters, Louisa, Mariana, and Mia, who all love poo stories. Others weren't feeling it, though. This person is clearly an idiot. Are you so broke you need to beg for money? How about you get off your bum and get a job? In any case, with the GoFundMe far exceeding the requirements of fixing this window, they decided to contribute the rest to charity. A portion went to Toilet Twinning, which is a charity that builds and maintains toilets in the developing world, and the other part went to the Firefighters Charity. And believe it or not, they actually would see each other again after this. Although I guess it didn't quite work out in the end. The next year, some outlets would follow up with them, leading to probably my favorite headline to come out of this entire situation. Fart broken. Man whose Tinder date got stuck in window after unflushable poo reveals she's friendzoned him. After unlucky Liam Smith's horror date hit the headlines last year, he vowed to take the unfortunate girl for a second drink. In truth though, this wasn't as tragic as the headline made it sound. He noted that although it didn't quite work out, they did remain friends and stay in contact through Facebook. But listen, ladies. Oh, I'm, I'm single at the moment, but, but still looking, of course. Anyway, that's the story of the woman who got trapped inside of a window with her own poo on a Tinder date. If you like this video, check out my old ass video about poop scissors. I'm out. <laughs>